And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Today, we're looking at Parrish Brewing Company Strawberry Cane Bake. Cane Break, excuse me, sorry about that. An American Wheat Ale style, or American Pale Wheat Ale, American Wheat Ale. An American Pale Wheat Ale. Makes sense, or Wheat Ale, whatever. 5.1%. Uh, ABV, 5% ABV. Uh, gets an 82 score on Beer Advocate. I start coming prepared with my damn can opener, so. Anyway. Um, I've had one on date. Uh, okay, it's from last month. I can see it right here in the bottle. May 5, 20, but stored in the refrigerator for a while, a couple of days, so I guess that's a good thing, so, I mean, with the location I bought this, I bought this at, um, what's the name of that place, yeah, Rouse's, look what the air looks like, um, I've had some beers from, uh, from Parrish, I've had the Rev, Revev, their coffee stout, I've had their Envy, which is their pale ale, I've had their Ghost of the Machine, which is their New England style uh, IPA, and I've had their uh, I've had their Session South Street Session Amber Ale. So those beers I gave them pretty good score. So and, and the Pilsner I've had too as well. So here's what the beer looks like, as you can see. Immediately get the scent of strawberries right away. Definitely the scent of wheat. The strawberries definitely really the flavors in there is like man. Quite nice. This is definitely wheat ales are definitely more popular in the summertime, I would say. But I'm at any time of year, but more so in the summer. Mm. Uh, next time I am in Louisiana, I'm definitely going to try to make a tour at that brewery. But uh, the brewery is based in Broussard, Louisiana, of course. Uh, I don't know how far is it from New Orleans? Or for any of the parishes. In, in that city. Definitely need to make a trip back up there. Definitely need to make another trip back down to Louisiana again. Really, well done in a lot of ways. Um, but, uh, yeah, the center for the, the wheat flavor is definitely there. The strawberries are fun, very malty. Has a bit of a dry finish. It's not bad. Um, you know, interesting enough, I do see that I, I I would pass this beer up a lot. Anytime, it just, anything that sees with fruit on it, I was kind of very, you know, I'm not a big, I, I love fruit. I mean, just saying, I'm not big with having beer infused with fruit, beer and fruits infused together. But my attitude is starting to change a little bit uh, on that. Um, I had the strawberry, uh, strawberry gator. I made a straw strawberry lager from Abita and their straw gator from Abita as well. Both were good. And um, straw gator, I was very hesitant about drinking because I thought uh, it's going to be fruity drinks. They're going, to, going down that road. But, you know, my opinion kind of changed. I thought that was a good, nice, good lager. Again, perfect. Thirst quenching, light, 
easy drinking, particularly now, summertime as we're in now, to consume. So I said, okay. And um, don't make it too big of a bit. Just think that you know, beer should be beer, you know, nice, it should be just thirst quenching. You add fruit to it, or you know, pineapple this, or orange that, or you know, this and that, like. Uh, has a lemon taste this, and it's a grapefruit taste of that, and just all this, but my attitude is starting to maybe, you know, become more, I'll, I'll, I, I think I can embrace this, so, yeah, and definitely, I could definitely embrace this, this lager here, so, pardon me, Wheat Ale. Got one more bottle of this. I'm gonna have later this this afternoon. So so yeah, um, it has a very dry finish. Maybe a bit tart at times, but so are those strawberries. But mildly sweet. And um, again, wheat ales also, um, not, while they are definitely a summer thing to drink, um, again, I'm mostly drinking light lagers or adjunct lagers, just because it is what, what they are. Um, now, I did, never got, I did now, have beers like a Two Hearts Lime, which is also a good good summer brew. That had a little, that had, uh, that was a good summer brew, summer beverage to consume. Like I said, before I would be very hesitant, but now I'm, I'm starting to change my view on that. But like I said, if I'm, I'm usually summertime, you know, give me an adjunct, give me a white lager, I'm good, but maybe a sour now I could probably embrace too. You know, they are tend to be very tart at times. Well mostly tart. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go on. Um, this is a good not great but a good American Pale Wheat Ale um, by Parish Brewery Company. So they um, got a good one here. So I'm gonna go with the same score bear advocate has. So I'm gonna go a B on this one, I guess that would be a B minus, I guess, uh, 7.9, 8.1. So B minus for the strawberry, strawberry cane break, an enjoyable American pale wheat ale, most preferred for the summer, but I'm sure you can have it any time of the year. So that is my score. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching. So cheers, live, laugh, and love. Strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry. Strawberry. Pretty big.